A family has some answers this afternoon, almost a month after a Waconia man went missing. 35-year-old husband and father Andrew Stifter went out on Lake Waconia last month to take pictures of nature on his paddleboard. Hours later, his board and belongings were found in the freezing water not too far from shore. Law enforcement and the community searched the water and nearby land every day for weeks. But it was a man ice fishing with an underwater camera who saw Stifter in the water just yesterday. Stifter's brother-in-law told Nina Mooney the family is in deep pain, but grateful to know that at last, Andy is home. Yeah, these last few weeks have been very difficult, just not knowing um, where Andy was. Every day since this father and husband didn't come home from a routine trip to the lake, they searched. There's no give up in the Stifter and Barnick families. I mean, um, that man meant the world um, to Katie and those kids and to his mom and dad and his brother and sisters and my family and um, that's what Andy would have done for any for one of us. Andrew Stifter was an army veteran, father to a fourth grader and kindergartner. Seeing those kids you think Andy, you know, and uh, for the great man that he was. His wife Katie is expecting their third child this spring. She has shown so much strength and so much faith um, and has continued to be um, a beautiful mother to her kids and uh, has honored her husband very well. Stifter's brother-in-law, Chris Barnick, wants to thank everyone, including law enforcement from several surrounding communities, for searching tirelessly. We're so very thankful. There's just not words that can express how thankful we are for the help and the prayers that we've been given. The family's also grateful for a stranger out ice fishing who finally gave them their answer. You know, there was a reason he was there, and uh, it was because Andy was there. The search is over. But Barnick knows the support for his sister and her children will continue. Just the finality of it, you know, is, was a uh, very difficult, um, I would also say a, a blessing, too, knowing that he is home and uh, we have him home for Christmas now. Stifter's family is in the process of making funeral arrangements as medical examiners work to determine an official cause of death. It's just heartbreaking. Yeah, our thoughts are with his family. Yeah, a lot of love surrounding yes, them. Definitely. Thank you, Nina.